Opposition leader Raylu Odingu on Wednesday described Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matanji as the personification of impunity following his tirade over an evil clique of judicial officers that the minister said were out to humiliate the government. Dr. Matanji on Tuesday met the National Assembly Committee on Security and complained of the conduct of at least five judges, whom he said have been captured by activist lawyers and members of the civil society to drag the executive by the collar through trial in the streets of public opinion. The CS appeared before Parliament to answer questions pertaining to abuse of rights of citizens and undermining the rule of law, Mr. Odinga said in a statement. Instead, he came out as the personification of impunity. Parliament should not allow itself to be a platform for state officers to make attacks on other arms of government. Migunad ported officials in the Interior Ministry refused to comment on the matter or even go on record discussing Dr. Matanji's conduct at the parliamentary hearing. Instead, a senior official told the nation, We will not respond to that. The statement is not even signed. Related content Matanji. We will expose evil. Judges rail at Matanji. You fail to err and me puzzle of Miguna's Canadian passport Miguna Miguna deported. Again Dr. Matanji had been summoned to explain the circumstances surrounding the second deportation of opposition activist Miguna Miguna and a subsequent conviction for contempt of court of the Minister, Inspector General of Police Joseph Boynet and Immigration Principal Secretary Gordon Kihalangwe. But Dr. Matanji said they were victims of an activist judiciary and that the government in the Miguna case had been condemned and heard. Court orders but Mr. Odinga said Dr. Matanji had been unnecessarily combative and that he should not have used the privilege of parliamentary proceedings to attack and denigrate judges. Instead, Mr. Odinga said the minister should have filed a complaint with the Judicial Service Commission or appeal any court decisions he is aggrieved with. Dr. Matanji had said that he had not been served with any of the court orders in the Miguna case and that the government, through the Attorney General, had filed a complaint against a judge he did not name and also appealed the decision by Justice George Ojunga, who reported to his New Mexico station on Wednesday to convict the trio. Mr. Odinga dragged his March 9 Thrumby House handshake deal with President Uru Kenyatu into the Miguna issue, saying Dr. Matanji had failed terribly in his conduct as far as what the two leaders had agreed on was concerned. Unity deal describing the minister's comments and demeanor before the parliamentary committee as irresponsible and reckless, Mr. Odinga said that Dr. Matanji had gone against the deal to get to the root of some of our deepest problems that seem to defy all forms of statutory and institutional reforms. In our statement to the nation, President Kenyatu and I urged every leader and every Kenyan to embrace the responsibilities they know to be theirs and help the nation reconcile and make progress. Dr. Matanji failed terribly in this, Mr. Odinga said. But Ford Kenya Deputy Party leader Boni Kalwal said the National Super Alliance leader was being dishonest. Rayleigh is backpedaling. He was played, and we told him. This whole thing confirms that Rayleigh expected too much from the so-called handshake, and now that he has seen that he cannot get much for his supporters because he might have gotten something for himself, he is looking for a scapegoat and so he wants someone to blame, Dr. Calwell said on Wednesday. Dialogue Ford Kenya has called for a structured dialogue instead of the individual discussions between Mr. Odingu and the President and Dr. Calwell sigh.